Hey guys, so today we're going to do the Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree Project Pan Update. This is a huge collab with a bunch of other ladies here on YouTube and Instagram. I will leave all their channels and Instagrams down below for you guys who are interested in binge watching some Project Pan videos. But I have some good progress to share with you guys. Sorry this is a little late. I'm filming on the 29th. It's supposed to go up on the 25th of every month. Life's been hectic, but I finally can get down to updating you guys. So, I've previously used up the YSL Rude Philip Shine Lipstick in Purple and Cantouchable for the song All I Want for Christmas is You. And if you don't know about this project pan, we took 12 songs, everyone could pick their own 12 songs that is Christmas related, and pair it with a beauty product. It doesn't have to be makeup or anything like that, just a beauty product. So I had a really great time filming the intro video. I filmed it with my son. We actually sang all the songs and we're dancing to it. So if you guys are interested in it, I'll leave the intro down below. But that was a really fun intro to make and it'll be a great video for me and him to look back on in the future. But like I said, I used up the YSL Rouge Philip Shine in Purple and Contouchable for all I want for Christmas is you. The next thing that I used up is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder and it is completely used up. I love this powder for every day. I don't even think I have another backup of it. Right now I think I just have all my hourglass. Yep, I do have a backup of it. I have two backs up backups of it. So I do really love this stuff. Um, it's great drugstore powder. It is translucent on the skin. Perfect for just setting your foundation, anything like that, and just making your skin look good and keeping your makeup on. This was for Joy to the World because it's something that brings me joy. Then I have the Tree Cut Shea Sugar Scrub Tropical Mango. I love the sugar scrubs from Tree Hut. So good, so moisturizing, but scrubby at the same time. I love sugar scrubs. I don't really like salt scrubs. Those kind of sting, especially if you do it right after you shave. So this was great. I picked this one for what song? Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. New to the tree. So I finished that up. So getting into the progress on everything else. The first song is Santa Baby and I pulled my Too Faced Peppermint Mocha palette and I have the blush Santa Baby. So I've been literally wearing this every single day and no pan yet. All I want to do is hit pan on it and I think I should be able to do that by Christmas time. It's definitely wearing away, definitely a high pigment and blush. You can see I'm wearing it today just a little bit. So I'm going to keep working on it and hopefully hit pan on that. I've already hit pan on another blush earlier this year. So I have some strong hopes for this one. Then for Let It Snow, I have the Sephora eyeshadow in Let It Snow. And I've previously already hit pan on it. So I'm just trying to work on expanding the pan and hopefully trying to use up this shadow. So that is that one. Last Christmas I had my Hourglass Ambient Lighting 3 Volume 3 palette and my goal is to just use up the shade Dim Light which is this shade right here and I've been working on it. Honestly I reach for the full size over this. I will say these pans are super super small. So for when I try and use Dim Light, I like to put that all over the face. And the brush I typically use for all over face powders is this brush right here, the Sigma Large Powder. And you can see I always am getting the blush or the other highlight shade in it. So I have been reaching for this e.l.f. what is this? Mineral Powder Brush it's so small and I can just get it but it takes it's so time consuming so I really love that you can get and try a whole bunch of different hourglass powders in this product but the pan sizes are so small and so close to all the other shades that it's really hard for me to use I'm gonna continue to use it and love it I really like the blushes that size maybe like a blush palette but just everyday powders next to those blushes and being so small is kind of hard to use. Um, so if you are looking at the Hourglass, I think volume 4 for this year, just something to keep in mind. Then for Oh Holy Night, I have my Ole Henriksen Invigorating Night Transformation Gel and it hasn't settled yet, but I really haven't been reaching for this that often. I need to try and do it, but honestly for nighttime, I just kind of wash my face, take off my makeup, and 
go to bed but lately it is getting colder and drier so I will be more drawn to using my gels and my moisturizer so hopefully I can use more of that. Then for Silent Night I have my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray and I'm getting down to the depths with that. I don't even think I put it on. Um, I don't think I'd repurchase this. I've had Urban Decay All Nighters in past project pans for the past I think I've been doing this for like four years and I always say I don't think I'm gonna repurchase it and then I do but I really don't use it so I need to stop buying it once I finish that up. Then for Sleigh Ride I have the OPI nail polish and Sleigh Ride for two. Guys I'm just not painting my nails. Best yeah. update. Not painting my nails. Um, so that'll be there probably forever. Then I have Blue Christmas my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Trio. And I previously used these two powders, the Dim Light and Radiant Light Up. So I'm trying to focus on incandescent light. And you can see I have definitely expanded the pan. Use this all the time for my highlighter as well as right now it is on all over my lid for my eyeshadow. And I love this thing. That's why I'd be so sad when it's gone. I'm definitely going to repurchase this. I'll show you. I think these are actually the same size. Nope. So, there's the comparison of how small versus how big. They're not that much smaller than in the trio, but they are still a little bit smaller. Um, so, and these are all face powders, so you can mix all these together. These are blush, so that's what's hard about it. But, I love this. I'll continue to use the incandescent light, and once I finish it, I will definitely be purchasing repurchasing this whole trio again. I just love it so much. Then I'll be home for Christmas. My Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers. I pulled the bronzer Milk Chocolate Soleil, which is right there, because I definitely feel I will have that done by Christmas. So still using it. It's actually what is on for my bronzer today, as well as in my crease for my eyeshadow look. Just a good way to multitask your shadows. And then the last thing is I saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus, and I have my Bite Beauty Kimchi Lipstick. I do have this on today, but I topped it with the Anastasia Lip Gloss. I can't remember what color, um, but I topped it with that, so it tones it down a little bit more, but still have the nubbin. I really haven't been reaching for this pink. I've been really reaching for berries and reds lately, which is a lot for October, but that's what I've been reaching for, so... That is that, but that is my update for my Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree project pan. If you guys are doing this along with us, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to see your progress, and let me know what you think my next item I'll be able to use up is. I'd love to know your feedback, so thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next one.